Jessica, I'm a school's relationship manager here at Buncee, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can access templates sent by teachers to students at home. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Buncee, Buncee is a multimedia creation tool designed for educators, students, administrators, families to easily create engaging content. For students, it's a way for them to show what they know creatively with digital stories, presentations, posters. But today, this template here that you see on my screen, this is a vision board, which is a goal setting project. So I'm going to act as an educator, send this to the student as a template, and I'll show you how the student can copy the template that the teacher had sent to them. First, I want to note that if your school has a Buncee for Schools and Districts account, you'll be logging in on your school's Buncee website. So here in this case for the school P721K, you can see their website is 721nights.edu.buncee.com. So you'll be logging on your school specific Buncee homepage and signing in however the school has told you to sign in. So in this case, students would select sign in with Google and then log in using their school's Google ID to access their Buncee dashboard and to access the Buncee templates teachers have sent them. Now the way you'll know a Buncee template has been sent to the student is likely through whatever communication platform your school uses, whether that be Google Classroom, Remind, a teacher will let the student know that they received a Buncee assignment and you can log in at home with the student to work on the project. So once we log in as a student, you'll access your dashboard. Now here I am logged in as a student. You can see in the top left here are different tabs. Under Buncees, you'll see other tabs here called My Buncees. Now My Buncees are any Buncees that your student has already worked on. Under the tab Shared With Me, you'll see Buncees shared to the student by their teacher. So you can see this teacher sent the Buncee My Vision Board to the student. It's a copyable template that the student will work on to complete the assignment. So maybe you want to open this to view what the assignment is. So you can see this is a blank Buncee template where the student will fill it in based on this educator's instructions. Now you can see some text here providing instruction to the student of what they're to do. Maybe you want to translate this text and the instructions to another language. You're able to do so in Buncee using Immersive Reader. So whenever you're viewing a Buncee sent to the student, you can click this icon up here. You'll see it's a little book icon with a microphone, and that will access Immersive Reader. So I select the book icon, and I'm taken to Immersive Reader, which is a reading accessibility tool that offers language translation as one of the features. To access the translation, if we go to this book icon here, you can see there's the option to translate. And you can translate to 67 different languages was the last number we checked, but the Microsoft, who developed Immersive Reader, is always adding new ones. So if we scroll down, maybe we want to translate to Spanish. And now the text written in the Buncee is translated from English to Spanish. After you're done reading the text, you can click back by selecting this arrow in the top left to go back to the Buncee assignment. So now you and the student are ready to get to work. You'll see in the top right here is a button that says copy. We click copy, and then it's going to ask you what you'd like to do next, and you can select edit. So now we're taken to the Buncee Creation Canvas, where the student can use their creativity to complete the project. I'm going to talk a little bit about the layout of the Creation Canvas. On the left here, you'll see all the different pages of the Buncee. So right now there's two pages. Up top is the title. So if we click there, we can change the title, Francesca's Vision Board. And then this plus button on the right will pull up the media library. So these are all the different items the student can add to their Buncee. 
You can see there's text here, shapes, drawing tool. All these different pink circles are different graphics, stickers, moving animations that they can add. This is a photo search that's filtered, a panorama photo search. There's also a YouTube search that only pulls up educational YouTubes for the student to add. If the student has files on their device they'd like to upload, upload, they could do so here. You can copy the YouTube link and embed it in the Buncee. You could also use your device's camera to record a video or take a photo. Maybe the student wants to take a selfie. QR code generator and quiz functionality. So you can see this is a one-stop shop of a lot of different tools in one place. However, for now, we're only going to focus on a few of these creation choices. Buncee does have a lot of other tutorials that take deep dives into each of the creation features. So if you'd like to learn more about how to create your Buncee and how to use all these different features here, there's other tutorials for that within the Buncee YouTube channel. For now though, we're going to start by adding some text. And you can see this T icon here, I'll click that. And here is a text box. Whenever you have an item selected, which you can see with the little red dots around the item, once I double click here to edit, at the bottom will be all the different editing options for that item. So I'm going to type in some text, Francesca's vision board. We can highlight the text. And at the bottom, the student can edit the text as they like. So you can choose a font, change the color, make the text larger. And then if you make the text larger, you can click back on the canvas here to resize the text box. OK, so in the template, if we click out of the text box, you'll see there's some pre-written text. Now you may want to delete this. So if I click on the pre-written text at the bottom in this dark blue panel here, you'll see a garbage can. Click delete. Are we sure we want to delete this item? Click the pink button, yes. And now we've deleted that text. So I could drag it on. If I highlight the text again, maybe I want to make it smaller so it fits on the banner. So you can see everything is customizable and you can edit it as you like. Okay, great. So now I'm going to select this plus button again. Maybe now I'd like to add an animation, which you can see here is the rabbit icon. On the left are all the different categories for all the different animations within Buncee. There are 35,000 different stickers and animations. You can also search up top. So maybe I want to look up books. Maybe part of my vision for this year is to read more books. Now you and the student can scroll through all the different animations and see which one you like. Click it and drag it on. So when you have the item selected, at the beginning the, are the editing options for that item. This little yellow mic microphone at the bottom, this will allow you to record your voice into the book. So if I select here, the student will be able to record their voice into this book. Click here to start, this little circle on the left. And now my voice is recording into the book. Pause, upload, then you can select add, and the voice will be attached to this moving book. So once we go to view the Buncee, you'll be able to click the book to hear the student's voice. If I click this plus button again, I'll show how to add a drawing. So you can see here, this brush icon will allow the student to draw on their Buncee. Again, at the bottom are the editing options for drawing. So we could change the color, change the brush size, make it larger, and we can add a little smiley. 
When the student's done drawing, you'll see at the bottom here is a check mark. Click that to finish the drawing. And the last thing I'll show, again, we always go back to this plus button here, is how to add a photo on the Bunsi. So if you want to search for an image from the web, you can click this blue circle here, and we can look up, let's say, books. You and the student can choose what book you'd like to add on. We'll go with this one and drag it on. So what's great is once you and the student have completed the assignment, you don't have to actively share it with the teacher. The teacher will be able to see the student's work from their Buncee account, so you don't have to share it back to the teacher. And this Buncee will be automatically saved, so you don't have to worry about clicking a Save button. Once you're done creating, you can click this Preview button here in the top right. And then you can view the Buncee. And you'll see there's a little play button there wherever you've recorded your voice. So that's how you complete a Buncee template assignment. Again, we have a lot of other creation tutorials that cover all the creation functionalities, but I hope you learned how to create a template here, and happy Bunseying!